patient, age 60 years, and uh, presented with the history of PGO of the last few months. Finding number one is that delivery is seen below costal margin and uh, it's an eye. The uh, periquartal echoes are decreased, shows fatty changes, otherwise except for being fatty, there is no other finding relating to the liver. Okay, now, finding number two. This is the right kidney, and you can see there is a calculus seen in the region of the mid calluses, measuring 15.3 millimeters, and uh, one calyx is, uh, one is over here, and the there is another scene here at the lower pole. Now this may is approximately 14 millimeter and the one here may in the, at the lower pole may is uh, 10.4 millimeters and this is a small cystic area seen at the lower pole of the right kidney. This is kidney right. These are the two calculi. This is the level. And this is the longitudinal view of the kidney. See the sharp shadow of the calculus. And uh, then is there any other cyst? Now the cyst will become more, in a cortical cyst, it will become more clear now. It, you see, here it is. So there are the nephrolithiasis. Now, that now you see, you will see even a few more, one more concretion. This is a small concretion at the lower pole. So the right nephrolithiasis with this tiny, uh, small uh, renal cortical cyst is the finding number two. Now the finding number three. Now this is the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. You can see that this is the anterior wall, fundal region, posterior wall. It's filled with thick sludge. This is the liver. See thick sludge. This is all thick sludge. S L V D N O sludge. And these, these dark, sharp posterior uh, shadows are uh, from the calculi within uh, so that are suspended in this. Uh, Thick sludge of the gallbladder. So this is finding number. another finding in this patient. Now let's crawl a bit uh, and see the vessels as well. This is the portal vein. Anterior to it, you can see is the uh, common bile duct. Now this is the portal vein and this is the common bile duct measuring 6.5 millimeters and up to 7 is considered normal so uh, it's not uh, dilated. This is the gallbladder and I am seeing, I'm, I, I will see the fundus of the gallbladder. This is a magnified view See, it's filled with, uh, this is the gallbladder, and you can see that it is filled with uh, thick debris. This is a thick sludge. 
and these shadows are from the cupola suspended within this uh, thick sludge. Now there is a small hypopoic area seen uh, anterior to the wall of the uh, anterior wall. This is the anterior wall of the gallbladder. A small hypopoic area is seen with internal echoes. Sorry, cystic area with internal echoes is seen in a magnified view. So this was relating to the. Uh, okay, now these are the hepatic wings. See the joke. Now I am going to move towards another area. The cordate lobe should be seen. This is the cordate lobe of the liver, ligament and nosum. This is the IVC coursing posterior to it. This is the left hepatic vein, and this is the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section. Now when I come down, I see a hypopoic, very demarcated hypopoic area. Uh, elevating the uh, superior mesenteric artery. You see, this is the aorta. This is uh, the superior mesenteric artery arising from the aorta, and this is a node, lymph node. This is a well demarcated hypopoic area uh, aorta, and this structure is the superior mesenteric artery. We are seeing in longitudinal section. So this is uh, another finding. Now pancreas should be seeing the clarity. Let's see. Now this is the. Uh, now this is the tail of the pancreas. This is the splenic vein as a landmark uh, for the identification of pancreas. Let me magnify a bit, get a better view. This is the body of the pancreas. Now, this, this is the body of the pancreas. Let me get you a better view. This is a better view. Body of the pancreas, and this is like a uh, tiny linear structure is the pancreatic depth, which is not dilated. So this is the body of the pancreas. This is the depth. And this is the pancreas. The transfer section. And this is a hypopoic, well demarcated area seen adjacent to the uh, pancreas, and uh, this is the liver, and this this is the liver. So this was this is the body of the pancreas. B will denote the body of the pancreas. This is the splenic vein as a landmark for the identification of the pancreas. This is a magnified view, so that's why you see a bit enlarged. So these are bubble gas. What is this area? By being approximately uh, 4 centimeter by 2.2 centimeter. This is also consistent with an NRI nymph node. There is no evidence of intrahepatic bioductase here. And now, uh, what are these structures seen? Let me go uh, zoom in. Well, this is the photo wing. And as I follow the portal vein medially, I see a lymph node at the paraceliac region. Now this is a lymph node at the paraceliac region. 
Why paracelic region? See, this is the aorta. Superior mesentery cord tree arising from it. Okay, this is the aorta, superior mesentery cord tree, celiac axis. And here we see a lymph node. Adjacent to the uh, pancreas. Body. These are two canalized lymph nodes. This is one, this is the second one. And uh, this is the aorta. This is a magnified view, and this is the another lymph node. So there are multiple lymph nodes seen in this region. This is the liver. And they are of variable size, and this is the one with the, that may is approximately uh, 3.9 to 2.1. This one may is approximately 2.5 by uh, 2.6 centimeters. So we are seeing multiple influence in this region. Okay. Further study shows a large hypopoic mass, solid mass. See, this one is a large mass. that extends from the posterior inferior surface of the liver and then this is, it, it can be seen in the region uh, of the right hypochondria this is the region of right hypochondrium and uh, see it extends medially. It's hypopoic. Here we are. It does, it does not uh, extend the midline and we saw the kidney. There is, it does not relate to the kidney. Now this is the, again, the lymph node elevating the superior mesentery artery and this is not like the sign as we call it. Another lymph node, this is paraceliac lymph node and uh, this is another paraceliac lymph node and here in the uh, we see a hypopoic mass extending from below the uh, uh, from the region of the right hypochondrium and then extending medially, not relating to the gallbladder, not relating to the kidney, not relating to the liver, and not relating to the pancreas. So this is the mass, hypopoic mass. Measuring approximately 8.7 into 4.9 centimeter. See, it's very well demarcated, and you can see there are internal uh, bright echogenic particles within it. It's basic. It's in fact hypopoic with uh, echogenic areas within it. Now, why it is solid? The reason is that uh, we do not see any posterior wall, significant posterior wall acoustic enhancement and this is a mass extending from the, uh, this is the region of uh, right hypochondrium and then it extends medially uh, 
and does not cross the midline. See, when I place the probe below the costal mark, I get it. This is the right quarter away. Right quarter away. Left quarter away. Left quarter away. And as I move the probe towards uh, uh, the right subcostal region, I come across this uh, rather complex cystic mass and sorry, mass. a complex mass rather but solid and uh, relatively hypopoid, more hypopoid than the hypogen with adjacent adenopathy. These are the enlarged lymph nodes. No question over. These are the enlarged lymph nodes. Now see this is a mass. This is the mass. This is the level. This is the liver. This is the lymph node. This is the lymph node. This is the lymph node. Now, from this angle, this uh, well demarcated solid mass measures approximately 8.1 into 4.4 centimeters. region, the urinary bladder is okay, no finding, prostate is very normal inside, this is the prostate. So there is uh, any cut related pathology? Give a sleep from the region of the right hypochondrium and then come downwards. No, nothing is appearing pathological. Iliac vessels are okay. No lymph node seen in this region. This is the, this is the iliac vessel. Do not see any focally, uh, sorry, focally and or a lymph node in this location. What about the left side? Pathology is on the right side though, but always uh, give a sweep on this side as well. These are the left iliac vessels. We do not see any uh, lymph node in this location. So, this is a case of. Uh, Number one, fat and light fatty liver, night and then nephrolithiasis, small cyst, renal cortical cyst, and uh, a solid mass, well demarcated solid mass in the region of the uh, right hypochondrium, extending medially but does not cross the uh, midline. does not relate to the gallbladder or the pancreas or uh, any other organ. We see paravertebral, paraceliac. Now this is a paravertebral location. Link note, this one, this one. And we also see Paraaortic plan lymph node, this is the paraaortic plan lymph node. 
we see paraciliac plant lymph node. This is a paraciliac node, uh, plant lymph node, along with the, so this is a case of uh, uh, solid mass expanding from the region of the right hypochondrium. There is another lymph node seen. This is the lymph node. And uh, you see, it's uh, not posterior to the IVC. This is the IVC. This is the IVC. So then the mass is anterior to the IVC, so it's not a retroperitoneal mass. This is the IVC. And there is a para cable lymphadenopathicine. This is the lymph node. See, this is the mass. Uh, this is the mass. This is the lymph node. And this is the IVC. Pass out the left. <coughs> This is this tubular structure is the IVC. So a solid hypopoic mass with uh, regional adenopathy. Here you can see it more clearly. It's uh, the mass from another location, heterogeneous rather. Now I will say it's a heterogeneous solid mass. Why solid mass? Because we do not see any posterior wall acoustic enhancement is not seen. This is the thick and solid mass and uh, this is the liver. This is the heterogeneous solid mass. Extending medially, not crossing the midline with multiple enlarged lymph nodes adjacent, paracable, paraciliac, paraiotic as well as uh, <coughs> paravertebral and there is uh, the gallbladder however shows thick sludge with uh, now you see thick sludge with gallbladder calculi this is the gallbladder these are the calculi this is the thick sludge and this is a thin fluid, rim of fluid around it around its anterior wall. These are the bubbles. This is the bubble, glass bubble in that region. The Dorinum. And here, you'll see this is the IVC. This, this is the IVC, and uh, the superior twig will be is the aorta. This is the aorta. This is the IVC, the right venal artery. This is the kidney, this is the mass. And you can see the calculi within the kidney and the mass. So this is our case of the day, thank you very much.